Hi, Martin here. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, port match your intake manifold for a 4.0 liter Jeep. Um, and I, I want to stress how important it is when people say I'm going to gasket match your, you know, your ports and how not to just go out and let's say and buy a typical gasket and okay we're going to toss it on here and now we're going to match the ports up to what this gasket says. That could be a real big mistake. Um, for an example, I love the material a lot of what this one's made out of. This one is from Pace Setter and um, the only thing I don't like about it are the way the ports are cut out. Um, if you were to toss this on here and start matching up what they're saying, you're going to end up carving out so much material, you'd be running into water jackets on your cylinder head. And you would have nothing left down here. I mean, so, yes, I made this one. When I made this, I matched it up to the intake runners on the cylinder head. Now, being that those ports were the biggest. So all I'm doing is stressing the fact that before you start cutting, just make sure everything is the way you, it needs to be. You're not removing too much material and you got the proper gasket to do the job, to transfer the information from your cylinder head to your intake manifold and vice versa. Okay, so what I've got here is a bolt that just fits in that alignment stud that you're going to have on your cylinder head. So by using that, put your gasket up here and that kind of threads into there and holds it. Now that's going to do a real good job of holding that gasket exactly where it needs to be. So this lines, this gasket lines up with the intake and the cylinder head absolutely perfect and now we know exactly what material we need to remove as you can see it's more toward the sides and the lower part of the intake runners not too much on the top at all really that almost lines up perfect in some situations right here it lines up perfectly and then we're gonna remove this material and then blend it into the intake. You don't want to just remove it right here and have this a big change from the diameter of what it is in here to going out here. So we're going to remove it and then blend it back. Okay, well, you don't want to ruin your gasket. Now this one I don't care about because it's already broken. But you get your gasket on here and get yourself a scribe and then scribe a line along that edge just like this do that for all your ports then you can remove your gasket and now you can see what material you need to remove and I wouldn't uh, you don't necessarily have to come right up to the line you can leave a little bit of a you know like a 64th of an inch it's better to leave a little than remove too much
Okay, you can see that I've got it all pretty much matched up to the gasket. I got a barely a little bit of a lip left. Now I can come back with a sanding drum and smooth out all this. Okay, I've run the uh, drum sander down through here. You can see it's all nice and cleaned up. Blended the port back as far, you know, a couple of inches back. There. And then you can see the difference between this port and the one I haven't done. You can see all this material along the side here is gone. Alright, I got the intake cleaned up. This is the gasket I will be using. And you can see how nice it's all now lines up really good. And then after opening it to the proper size, then we work on blending it back into the port of several inches if you can. Give it a nice smooth transition from this diameter back here to this larger one here. All right. Well, that turned out, I think, really well. Um, now, I went ahead and polished it up some more carried it down into these ports probably a good three inches to blend it nice and smoothly. Um, last thing I'm going to do is uh, I have a friend that's got a bead blaster. I'm going to totally glass bead this, make this intake look like it's brand new before I install it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Talk to you later.